Hey everyone, this is Penny. Penny and Creations. How are you today? I hope you are having a beautiful day. I stood up and I done got out of breath. Mm. Everyone, I know you was wondering where is she at? Right here. I had anticipated, anticipated on doing several videos. However, Carriers is not delivering my stuff. I wanted to unbox a hat press and I received half of the order and so on and so forth. So, um, things happen for a reason. So, I was able to take advantage of that time that I didn't have to do videos. And I just continued to work on my blanket. Now, just go back, everyone. January 19th, I had stopped crocheting because my hand was bothering me and I just took six weeks off because I came up with that number because the doctors normally when you sprain something, they told you to tell you to take a break for six weeks and it actually helped. So I picked it back up, crocheting. I didn't do any crafts. I, if I did, diamond painting, it was very minimum. And I picked it back up on March the 7th. So I finished the cake for number four. I finished number five. And I just wanted you to know that this is number six. And the yarn, this is Shooting Star, uh, Mandela Tweed. I don't know if this is discontinued now or what. I know they are discontinuing a lot of their yarn. But I purchased three Santa Sacks. And when you get Santa Sack, it, Lion Brand does have a note in the order and area that most likely you will, you will receive duplicates. And I was okay with that. And um, in each one of the Santa sacks, it was three packs of the Shooting Star. And I was happy about that. I was like, ooh, that'll be a nice blanket. So this is number six. I have three more cakes to go. I'm not sure. As of now, am I going to put... Am I going to put crochet all the remainder three cakes on the blanket and then blanket blanket and then do a possible gray this color in a border? I don't know. I was thinking about taking a cake and doing ruffles because it will be a gift for a female. So It'll come to me. It'll come to me. So that's where I'm at with this blanket. It is not big enough. I do need to put more yarn on it. Because these cakes are only 426. Where the Mandela is 500 and something. Because this is a 4. And the Mandela cakes is a 3. Mm -hmm. So that's where I'm at with this project. Now... Let's see, let's see, let's see. I, last week, mm, I think last week I put two days of work in on here. Not four days, but I did two days last week. Okay, this is a new week. So I haven't done anything since last week with this blanket. Now, this is quite impressive for me. I made a top. Let me move this up a little bit more. Let's come back. Yeah. 
so you can see. Oh, there we go. Good. I made this last week in two and a half days. Mm-hmm. This is for a family member. It came out really nice. It looks very nice on her. So I've been holding it out because uh, I wanted to do a video. Why I didn't do this video sooner with the, my makes? I don't know. I could have done that. So this is my pattern that I really like from Alex Crochet. And it's in my library. I think you have S access to that now some of the let me just turn it inside out or was that yeah inside out so being that it's not for me the pieces everything was sold in and double triple tied so I left the strings a little longer because I want to add fabric glue. I wouldn't be so fussy if it was for me because if something happened to it, I can get to it right away, but it's not going to be in my house, so it's going to be in someone else's house. So, um, so the permanent fabric glue, I use this to make bags i would take old jeans that we couldn't fit anymore and i would just turn it into a bag no sew and i would use the arlene's uh fabric glue kind of use this on everything i'm supposed to but i do <laughs> i love this stuff and then you also have the beaking fabric tack i've not used this yet i recently purchased this a mm, couple of months ago and if you have you have some other fabric glue out there, you know, just give you an idea of what I have in my house. So that's what I am. Just going to put some fabric glue on here and just, just go ahead and snip it down. For the most part, it is done. I made this one a little loose for her. It has that pretty shape, you know, they kind of show a little bit too much skin. For, for my generations. I didn't come up with that. Although we did too. But I was not one of those. Persons. Showing. Belly buttons and stuff. Now. Quite impressive. Two and a half days everyone. I finished that. Mm -hmm. And then. I took a break. Because. Um, I became nervous. I didn't want my hands to hurt. And I said to myself, that was a little bit too much work in a short period of time. So you should take several days off from doing anything. And that's what I did. Okay. Now, I made this one in February for the same person. Okay. Don't be alarmed by this. These are intentionally left this way. This is the first time I've worked with this yarn. And I left the other yarn downstairs. I said, oh, here we go. This is what I used. A cotton. Old Mills. Up in Massachusetts. I talked about that company. A lot of people don't probably don't want to purchase because it comes like this. It's this it's yarn. You know? If you have any questions, the lady, she will help you. You know, don't get caught up so much in aesthetics. Okay, so this is some yarn I purchased from Lion Brand Outlet on a comb. And I think Calvin caked up two strands together for me. Uh-huh. So this is really pretty. Hey, hey, what are you doing? See? This one was just a little slow going. I can't remember why. But I didn't finish this as quick. I think it maybe took a week. Mm-hmm. I think it has something to do with the yarn. And I tell it the bottom. You know, like I said, they this is how they dress. They show up the beautiful shape. 
So I did that to the bottom. Still is Alex pattern. I don't care what I do to it. I add my own spin to it. The foundation is the same. So it is her stuff. Listen. Mm-hmm. So it's stretchy. Mm-hmm. Really stretchy. And I thought of at the time uh beach but she travels a lot well she was traveling a lot and i thought that would be nice on the beach but this one's a little scratchy but she can always wear a you know a cotton um t-shirt under it mm-hmm and these are long because I don't know why. Oh, I, I wasn't sure whether or not because she was not here for me to finalize this. So I think I'll be okay um, with cutting this now. And then the strings here. I left them long because I wanted to glue them. You know, being that this is so stretchy. I knew this could eventually unwind. So I just wanted to glue them. Everything is sewed down. Wanted to glue and then I would snip it. And everything is. Would be okay. So I don't have any ends to sh sew in. Besides I have to deal with this one. Everything else. Is taken care of. See all this is taken care of. I just need to glue it and snip it. Mm-hmm. I usually make these tops for myself, but it's fun to make them for, you know, the smaller size. They go a lot quicker. And the next project I started, I started knitting a scarf because I was looking at my go away craft cart um luggage i had packed a bunch of projects i had started projects and i packed them away in the tote and me and calvin we always hit the road in the summertime and i had a couple of i wanted to um visit webs and if they were going to have the tent sale again in north carolina then i was planning on going to this yarn store over in Washington, but of course, you know, the pandemic just stopped all that. So the bag has been sitting in the same spot, everyone, for almost three years. Will be three years soon. So the other day I said, I want to do a video to show you what was in it. And I still am because I just took a couple of things off the top that was finished projects. And the first thing I spotted was the comfrey cotton. Mm -hmm. And I had started knitting a scarf for the road. And I said, oh, and I took that out of the bag and I started working on that. Now, and this is a comfrey cotton by line brand, 392 yards. And this is whipped cream. This is whipped cream it's a light three yarn the knit needle is a 4.5 and the crochet hook is a six that always get me with this mm -hmm. it's a three but they want us a, a six i guess because of the stitches you know how the stitches um, needs to lay mm-hmm Calvin used to bring me this home every month when he goes, when he went to Walmart to pick up water and tissue. And we had, a, we, we didn't have anything. I don't own no Walmarts. In Walmart, he goes to, it was an aisle for yarn. And now it's a corner. And he used to bring me cotton blend every month. Although I probably have 30 plus of the whipped cream, I didn't mind because I was getting a gift every month. <laughs> and of course, sometimes I did get other 
colors in the comfrey cotton but most it was this color so it still warms my heart every time i see it it's one of my favorites so i had started knitting with this for the row and this is what i have been working with this week i have been working with this this week this is all i've been doing is knitting Mm -hmm. so it's coming out it's, it's turning out to be very nice really nice yep really nice that's all I've been doing so most likely I'll continue to work on this and then I have to pick this back up so basically I am working just on two projects now and I have to just apply the glue on these two tops and I'm done with that mm -hmm. have options it's nice to have options so I am definitely way over half done like I started a scarf and the end of March. Yep, because Monday we may we may be getting some snow. It's gonna be so cold. So yeah, put it away for um next year. Now for any knitters out there, I have a question. As you you may already know that I am a new knitter. I wouldn't say a beginner knitter because I can knit. I may not be able to make those beautiful socks and sweaters, but I can knit. Now, my question that I have is, for someone who is a beginner knitter, um, I notice that my edges are very nice. And I was wondering... If you can see that I was wondering does that have something to do with um my ability to handle yarn because um I'm a crocheter that I I I know the feel of yarn and I know not you know you don't tug on it or, or too loose you know I'm amazed by how my my scars are not wonky you know and you know i have some imperfections here and there with my pokey i have some imperfection here and there which is say a gauge or a tension area you know that and then i have big spots where i have no gauge problems like i can see down in here you probably can't see that You know, it's no gauge problems. And then I pick up a hole somewhere, you know, in here. Maybe my tension drops off there. Is that what's going on? Mm -hmm. And I, one thing I did notice that my, my knitting has speed has definitely increased. I am knitting much faster. I still can't take my eyes off the, the needle. Every time I try and take my eyes off the needle and knit without looking, I start laughing. I don't know why. I get so punchy when I do that. So I cannot knit without looking. I can crochet without looking, no problem. But I cannot knit yet. So my speed has increased. And I that took a while, but it did increase. I am a faster knitter than what I was. So I guess in time, that takes time. But I just was wondering, um, my gauge, I think it has some, I think it has some to do with my, my ability to crochet. So let me know, um, knitters, let me know your, your thoughts on it. And one other thing I made, I want to show you. 
this is, I need this. I didn't make the bag, but I put the words on it. See, move you up. Can you see that? It says beautiful. Now you know I had to make it because it's a double U in there. It is not spelled all the way out correctly. See, this is the back. And I put the word beautiful. I hope you can see this. Let's see if I can take it down a little bit more. Oops, sorry everyone. My apologies, that was terrible. See, that's what I made. And I also made some Christmas items. Mm-hmm. But I made that. That came out really nice, didn't it? And then I made another one with a family member's name on it. She has that one. Mm-hmm. Really nice bag. I didn't make the bag, everyone. I just put my saying up here. I may auction it off, but I plan on selling these bags for about 30 bucks. Mm-hmm. I know you're going to like that. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see. Mm-hmm. It came out really nice. Really nice. All right, everyone. That's it. I apologize again for hitting the camera. Thanks, everyone, for participating. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for your thumbs up. Um, thanks for your comments. So you don't have to ask me where I was. I'm here. I just couldn't get the things I needed to make videos. I am well for the most part. Thank you, Lord. And trying to keep busy and stay warm. Um, coming in the next couple of days. So appreciate if you can give this video a thumbs up. And let me know what you're working on, what you finished, or what you are planning on making. Thanks, everyone. Enjoy your day. Bye.